Fluorite is a mineral made of calcium and fluoride that commonly forms interconnecting pinkish colored cubes. But something interesting happens when viewed in a different light. Under shortwave ultraviolet light, the mineral suddenly glows blue. Under longwave ultraviolet light, yet another color may manifest, and still another if the mineral is heated. Fluorite is a beautiful mineral, but fixate only on the surface appearance and you might miss the manifold beauty hidden within. Science, the study of nature, has shown us that surface beauty often masks the complexity and connectivity in God's world. So we shouldn't be surprised to find that same pattern in God's word. 1500 years ago, Pope Gregory the Great described the Bible as a river in which a lamb could walk and an elephant could swim. And that river is no more evident than in the opening pages of the Bible. Genesis 1 depicts God bringing order from disorder and assigning function to matter as he creates the world and all it contains. But if we fixate only on the superficial sequence of events, we will likely miss what lies hidden in plain sight, the manifold beauty of Genesis 1. When considered in light of the time, people, and culture into which it was written, A rich tapestry of layers is manifest that is analogous to the layered colors of fluorite when examined under varied light. And Genesis 1 reveals unique layers, each complementing the others, such as its polemic challenges to the gods of surrounding nations, the analogy to the human work week, its poetic structure of forming and filling, the covenantal promises that mirror the language of contemporary treaties, the literary parallels of a God who dwells among his people in Eden and in the temple, its rhythm of time with subtle links to the agricultural cycle and festivals, and the similarities between Eden and the Promised Land, connecting the story of Adam and Eve with the story of Israel and us. The Manifold Beauty of Genesis 1 written by Greg Davidson and Kenneth Turner, seeks to recapture the richness of a biblical text too often lost in arguments defending a single monochromatic understanding. While affirming the truth and inspiration of the Bible, Davidson and Turner invite us to step away from the rancor of scientific debates to consider the multifaceted theological beauty of the creation story.